All right, this is how to make a quick and easy catapult using six popsicle sticks, five rubber bands, a medicine cup, a pair of scissors, and a pom-pom. You could use a cotton ball for launching. So, first thing I did was I wrapped four popsicle sticks together with rubber bands. So you wanna wrap them with the rubber bands on both ends like that, just making a nice stack. That was easy. I didn't need to show you that. Then I took the medicine cup and I cut slits on both sides about opposite each other. So that I had two slits in there. Then I take a rubber band to tie this on. So I'm gonna put the rubber band right through the slits and I'm gonna tie this on to the end of one of my popsicle sticks. Now this is the hardest part to get it on there nicely. And it's easiest if you can keep wrapping it around both sides to get it on there nice and tight. Now you wanna leave, this is basically how it looked, and you wanna leave a little end of the popsicle stick because you wanna be able to use it for your launching. Now the next piece is we're gonna tie these two popsicle sticks, these two, together. We're gonna wrap the ends just like we did with the foursome. So. Just twist and tie around and go around and twist around. So this, you know, takes a couple minutes to do. Sometimes when you're working with kids, it could be, you know, a little time consuming. They stop twisting at some point and then it's not holding together. You want to keep it, you know, as close to the end as you can. So this is what this looks like. Now we're going to turn this into a mouth and we're going to put it. So we're going to hold our sticks like this and we're going to open our mouth and slide it right on up. So it's gonna look like this, as close to the edge as we can. And then we're gonna take a rubber band and wrap it around our cross here so it all holds together. So grab another rubber band, and there's no real right or wrong way to do this. I'm just gonna take it and put it around both ends of my cross here, go around the other side. I'm just kind of randomly wrapping so it all holds together. So now that I'm done, it looks like this. And it doesn't matter if it's like a little crooked or anything. No, nah, not really. Now obviously the bigger part this mouth is, the more distance you're gonna get with your catapult. And then all you have left to do is take your pom-pom. I've also let the kids um, use beads, you know, in a safe environment. Um, to try this too, but put my pom-pom right in there and then all I have to do is push down So you're using the stored energy like this to launch your thing. So I'm just pushing it down and then I'm gonna let go Woo! And that's it. You made a catapult